interrupt this record to bring you a special bulletin. The reports of a flying saucer hovering over the city have been confirmed. The flying saucers are real. Real when I feel what my heart can't conceal. That was the Clatters recording. Too real. We switch you now to our on-the-spot reporter downtown. Come on, baby, let's go downtown. Take it away, John Cameron Cameron. Uh, this is John Cameron Cameron downtown. Uh, pardon me, madam, would you tell our audience what would you do if the saucer were to land? Duck in the air! Thank you. And now the thin gentleman there. What I'm gonna do is hard to tell. Uh, the gentleman with the guitar, what would you do, sir? Oh, just take a walk down the street. Thank you. We return you now. That was the Pelican's Outer Space recording Earth. I've just been handed a bulletin. The flying saucer has just landed. We switch you again downtown. Uh, here we are again. We have with us Professor Sir Cedric Fentingmold of the British Institute. The professor is approaching his saucer to see if there's possibly any sign of life aboard. Well, I'm sure something. Are you there? I hear you knocking. But you can't come in. That was Laughing Lewis's record. Knocking. This is John Cameron Cameron on the spot. And now I believe we're about to hear the words of the first spaceman ever to land on Earth. <laughs> and now, here are the bowl scores. Four to three, six to two, and eight to one. The impact of seeing the first spaceman has this reporter reeling. Here I go reeling. That was the Clatters again with their big one. Ha! Oh! This is John Cameron Cameron again downtown. The spaceman has returned to his ship and is taking off. We return you now to our studios. The flying saucer has gone. There is no threat of an invasion. However, the flying saucers are still around. We are not going to interrupt this record. Yes, we are. The flying saucer has landed again. Washington. The Secretary of Defense has just said... That, a shame? that was Skinny Dynamo's record. That's a shame. And this is John Cameron Cameron Part 2. Gathered around me are several of the spacemen. Tell us, have you come to conquer the world? And now would you repeat that in English? Don't want the world to have and hold. Hey, why don't you go back where you came from? Don't be angry. We return you now to our studios. Here is a news item from Washington. The president has just issued a statement to the spaceman, and we quote... You can do anything for me, all for my balloon suede shoes. That was Pa Gherkin's record, Shoes. We switch you again downtown. This is John Cameron Cameron downtown. Uh, Professor Cedric of the British Institute, tell us, uh, how were the saucers able to land? Where do you see... The motor cooled down, the heat went down. That was Huckleberry's recording... The motor cooled down. Uh, this is John Cameron Cameron again. I believe the spaceman has a final parting word. See you later, alligator. We return you now to our studio. The spacemen have gone again. But look to the skies. The saucers will always be there. Always be there. Goodbye, Earth people.